The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? We're going to see this concept of, of, you know, basically saying, why should we fear anything? Who do we have to fear? And he gives all the reasons why. Well, the Lord's my light. The Lord's my salvation, right? The Lord's the strength of my life. If, if the Lord is all of these things to you, then, then you know, ask yourself that question. Who should you fear? Who should you really be afraid of? We have a lot of things that we face in life, and a lot of people who try to make you afraid, afraid. You know, there's a lot of bullies that exist in life that are going to try to put you into fear. There's a, you know, a lot of forces out there that will try to put you in fear. There's governmental forces. There's just other forces, gangs, crooks, thugs, whatever. There's a lot of people that may try to put you into fear for one reason or another. But, hey, if the Lord is your light, if the Lord is your salvation, and the Lord is your strength, then who do you really have to fear? Because right, God's bigger than all of them. Verse 2, when the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. So this is just a great testimony saying, you know what? When, all, when my enemies all surrounded me and they came upon me, they stumbled and fell. Just proving, why? Because God is with me. Because God is my defense. Verse 3, though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. We ought to have the faith in the Lord. We ought to have a place for the Lord in our hearts, in our minds, in our life, where we are setting him to be the light for our path. We are listening to his word to guide us. We are trusting in him for our salvation and we are relying on him to provide us with the strength. And if we do these things, then we have nothing to fear. And we can have the confidence and just the firmness that David has here in this psalm saying, you know what, it doesn't matter if a whole host surrounds me, a whole army could come against me. I could have, you know, a thousand against just little old me, and I'm not going to be afraid. And if you think and try to put yourself in a situation like, man, Surrounded by a mob. There's a very real instance that could happen in our day and age right now. We've got a lot of people who are out there, you know, uh, um, looting and rioting and, and singling people out, right? And being big bullies and, 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 and inflicting harm on people. You never know when you're going to find yourself in a bad situation. You could be driving through somewhere and there's some protest going on. You get yanked out of your car, whatever, you know. There, there, there's going to be things that, and I'm, like, I'm not saying this to try to scare you. It's just, it's just going on out there. Right? You, you, could, you could end up finding yourself in a situation where you've got a lot of people against you. But we don't need to be afraid. See, we don't live in fear. That's why, you know, I'm never, ever, ever afraid when we go out soul winning. And I don't care what neighborhood we're going to. And you ought not either. I've had family members and other people say, like, oh man, you know, aren't you afraid to go there? Or you shouldn't go to those neighborhoods and you shouldn't. You shouldn't be going there, and you shouldn't be bringing your family. Like, I'm not afraid to go to any neighborhood on this earth to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because I know that it's the Lord's will, that the Lord's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And I know what God has commanded us to do, and I know that when I'm walking in the Spirit, that God is going to be with me. And I know I'm relying on Him to be my strength. I'm relying on Him as my salvation. I'm relying on Him to be my light. So who do I have to be afraid of? I don't have to be afraid of some gangbanger. I don't have to be afraid of, of some thug. I don't have to be afraid of people. Because God's with me. And you know what? When you have the boldness from the Lord, people will be afraid of you. People look at you, you're in the wrong part of town. You're going to be like, man, this guy's crazy. <laughs> I've had people think that about me before. Like, what is this? You know, you go, you go into an area where you're a minority. And for me being white, I go into an area where I'm a minority. And people are like, man, this guy's nuts. <laughs> like, what is he doing here? I'm not nuts, but I'm not afraid either, and I'm not going to be scared. I don't care where I go. And it's not because I know how to fight or because I have weapons or anything like that. That has nothing to do with it at all. Normally, I go so I don't have weapons anyways, other than a little pocket knife, right? That's not going to do anything. But um, it's God. It's the Lord. It's, it's trusting that, that he will be with me, and he'll protect me. And you know what? If anything were to happen... Then I could just look and say, you know what? Well, God's going to allow that to happen for some reason that I may not be aware about. The Apostle Paul suffered a lot of persecution. Other disciples and apostles suffered persecution. And if we end up suffering persecution, okay, well, then it's still going to be glory to God. But either way, I'm not going to be afraid. 
It's not going to sca scare me. It's not going to put fear into my heart. I mean, how many times was Apostle Paul thrown into prison? And you know what? That's why they were being persecuted, because people wanted him to shut up. They wanted to intimidate. They wanted to scare. They wanted to get him to silence their mouths. But we, if they're just like they, had their trust in the Lord, said, so you know what? I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to open up my mouth and speak boldly. Why? Because I'm trusting in God. 